Conti Ransomware is a family first seen in December 2019, primarily attacking corporate networks. It comes with a lot of features and functions that are not usually found with other ransomware families, and the worst part is, it's on the rise. So, to help folks understand this threat before it becomes commonplace, we present five facts about Conti Ransomware. Number five, Conti uses targeted attacks against corporate networks. Conti Ransomware can scan network drives and even encrypt files from a separate system. In addition, Conti has command line options that allow it to be manually controlled. These commands allow the human behind the malware to specify which systems to attack and which files to encrypt. The malware controller can even specify host names or IP addresses of systems on the local network the malware should target. Information about local network topology requires some background research on the part of the bad guys and requires greater planning than most ransomware attacks we see, leading many to believe attacks using this threat are targeted. The discovery of a Conti infection could indicate a possible manual breach of the network by human attackers, meaning that other security measures may be disabled or there may be a hidden backdoor installed. Number four. Conti uses 32 simultaneous threads to encrypt files very fast. To encrypt files at a rapid speed, Conti will create 32 separate threads and task them all with the encryption of files. While this does speed up encryption, it also makes a lot of noise on the victim system, which may give away the ransomware to any users who notice the performance drop. However, according to Lawrence Abrams from Bleeping Computer, quote, as most ransomware attacks occur after hours, this may not be much of a concern as the computers would not be used during the encryption process. Number three, Conti unlocks targeted files. This ransomware does not have time to wait for other applications to stop using files. It has the ability to stop 146 Windows processes, including processes related to SQL databases. By disabling these applications, Conti ensures that sensitive files it may want to encrypt aren't locked by any active applications. Conti also uses the Windows Restart Manager to unlock any files it wants to encrypt, probably for files not related to the 140 plus applications it kills. This feature is built into Windows and used to safely shut down any running applications and close any open files without fear of corruption. So Conti calls this feature on any file it wants to encrypt to ensure that a different application isn't using it, though if it is, that application gets shut down, the file gets unlocked, and then encrypted. Number two. Conti uses AES-256 and RSA-4096 encryption via a hard-coded public key. Conti doesn't fool around with the strength of its encryption. Using these encryption schemes against the victim files means that it's unlikely anyone is going to decrypt them anytime soon. This isn't a new feature for ransomware as most modern ransomware families have perfected their encryption functions. This increase in coding ability usually results in fewer ransomware decryptor applications being developed. And number one. Conti might be related to Ryuk ransomware developers. While theories are still being developed concerning Conti's developers, there have been a few hints that may reveal the connection between the distributors of the Ryuk ransomware and this group. Conti and Ryuk appear to be both based on the Hermes ransomware family and therefore share some code similarities. The source code for Hermes was sold on the exploit.in hacking forum back in August 2017. Some Conti infections have revealed ransom notes that share the same template as those found with Ryuk. Finally, Conti seems to share the same distribution as Ryuk, using TrickBot. When Bleeping Computer asked malware researcher Vitaly Kremez about the similarities, he said, quote, Based on multiple incident response matters and current assessment, it is believed that Conti ransomware is linked to the same Ryuk ransomware developer group based on the code reuse and unique TrickBot distribution. The same distribution attack vector is used widely by the Ryuk deployment group. In addition, Bleeping Computer studied submissions of ransom notes to the ID ransomware service to identify a significant drop of Ryuk infections being reported and a rapid increase of Conti attacks. According to our own detection stats, Ryuk has been seen less and less this year, with an average decline of negative 36.9% from January to August 2020 and a significant plunge of over 72.4% between March and April. These numbers would suggest that Ryuk is on its way out. Bonus, Malwarebytes stops Conti. Malwarebytes has been able to stop this threat with our behavioral detections and anti-ransomware functionality for a while. 
However, we started tracking this threat as ransom.conti in June. To find out more about Conti ransomware, check out the links below and keep an eye on the Malwarebytes Labs blog as we continue to follow this threat. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.